Jen Garrett, and I've been singing Barbershop for 13 years now. I heard about barbershop music from the website. Actually, I had no idea what it was when I came into a chorus rehearsal. It was um, all new to me. I'd never heard of Sweet Adelines or anything. And so I was pleasantly surprised and loved it right away. What I love most about Sweet Adelines, I think, is the, um, the women and that are part of this organization and the, the friendships and bonds that are um, formed by you know being in a in involved with something that's bigger than yourself when you're singing in a chorus or you're singing in a quartet or just being in this organization that's so supportive and so wonderful um, it, it's very empowering for other women to come together and and um, support each other and through education and music I mean it's very powerful simplistically barbershop is four-part acapella harmony so it's sung by four people or more, but it's four parts. Um, it's divided into lead, which is the melody line. That's the part you think of usually when you think of a song. Tenor is a higher harmony part. Bass is the low harmony part. And baritone is kind of a middle harmony part that fills out the chord. And what makes it barbershop is the structure of the chords that makes it different from other styles of music. Acapella music right now has become very popular with movies like Pitch Perfect and shows like The Sing Off, and so people are becoming more and more aware of acapella as a style of music. Um, but barbershop is very different from what you see in some of those movies. There are snippets of barbershop, but groups like Pentatonix and Straight No Chaser that are very famous aren't barbershop groups. They could sing barbershop music if they wanted to but they typically don't, they sing other things. We are capitalizing on the fact that barbershop is a cappella, and that's what makes us similar, is it's all a cappella music. My name is Terry Streit, I sing bass in Sweet Adelines, and I've been a part of this for five years. The challenges are how, how good I can be the next week, or the next week, and the next week, and it's perfecting my own voice and trying to sing with others correctly. There's a lot of intricate details about singing in barbershop, believe it or not. It's pushed me a lot. I did not do singing prior to this at all. Uh, no choir, no other choruses. I'm mostly just a band person and really didn't even think I could do it. Uh, as long as just singing any type of melody or harmony, it's, it's fun to do, so that's what's kept me here. There's actually some disagreement about where barbershop came from. Traditionally, uh, the barbershop in the community, the ones where you got your hair cut, were kind of community centers. People gathered there and there's a, an idea that the men standing around, typically African-American men, stood around when they didn't have customers or even when they did and sang folk songs and spirituals and things like that. What makes it barbershop is the close, tight harmonies. And so Norman Rockwell's painting from 1936 that was on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post gave barbershop a feeling and an idea that went with it, but that's not necessarily, there's no evidence that that's really where it came from. Barbershop has changed my life because of the organization. There's actually three organizations, well, in the States, there's more around the world. There's the Barbershop Harmony Society, which is men. There's Sweet Adelines in, uh, International, Sweet Adelines International, and Harmony Incorporated. And I'm part of Sweet Adelines International, and it's changed my life because it's given me opportunities to do things I never thought I could do. I was in music in high school and college, and after that, it was pretty much it. This has given me an opportunity to find a place to perform, to improve my skills, and to grow as a person. I've had leadership opportunities that I might never have come across in any other organization. Uh, when I was a kid, the movie Music Man was out, and I liked uh, the barbershop part all the time, but I figured, well, that's, that's the guy thing, right? That only men could do barbershop. I didn't know until just recently that it was women's also. Not only that, uh, my voice is low or in a lower register for women. So where does my voice belong? It belongs in barbershop. I'm a, fun to be a bass, um, fun to sing the lower part in the women's registry and finally have a spot in music for me, for my voice, which is fun. Um, but when, when I heard that sound from the other chorus, uh, when they started singing, I couldn't believe it. It was a cappella, it was beautiful chords. And I thought, this is where I belong. It's just too bad I didn't find it sooner. One great way to um, start out um, with barbershop and test it out is just to sing a tag. Find someone that that knows, uh, you know, a, a tag, a simple tag, and you can hear the chords and you can 
um, find out if you like it or not. Um, it's just a, a great uh, tool to use. It's the last uh, section of a song. It's usually you know four to eight measures of a song and it's usually the the most powerful um, climax of the song and so it's a lot of fun to sing. I was actually invited to be in Sweet Adelines when I was in college, but my perception of it was a bunch of old women because my mother had been in Sweet Adeline when I was a little girl. And so I didn't have any comprehension of what it really was. And when my daughter was about one and a half, a good friend from church continually invited me and said, just come see, just come see what you think. And I didn't attend right away because I, I was afraid I would love it. <laughs> and I was right. I went to a rehearsal because my husband said, you need to find something that's for you. And so I went to a rehearsal and have never looked back. I knew the moment the first chords rang and I heard what we call overtones, which is a note above or below the chord that nobody actually sings. The harmonics set it up right and you can hear notes that nobody's singing and I knew it was for me. If you think that you might be shy about coming to try this barbershop stuff out as I was, um, don't hesitate just to come in to any chorus that's in your area, sit down, watch them, you'll probably be greeted. You won't even be asked to sing if you don't want to, uh, but just don't hesitate to, to give it a shot and see what it's like because if you don't, you may regret it. Don't stop me now.